Happy Monday, peeps. Today I'm going to be showing you four meals my family enjoyed for dinner to give you some inspiration and new ideas if you find you're in a bit of a recipe rut, which I can get in all the time. All the recipes will be linked in the description as always. And if you're new to my channel, my name's Steph. I'm a mom to two little kids and I love to cook. I love to try new recipes and I'm obsessed with Pinterest. So on that note, let's get cooking. All right, so we're gonna start out with some honey mustard chicken. So I'm just starting by chopping up some little baby potatoes. I like these ones because of the colors. However, I only got two tiny little purple potatoes, so I was a little bit disappointed in that, but that's okay. You just wanna chop these to be bite-sized and throw them in a nine by 13 pan. Now you can use whatever kind of chicken you want for this recipe. I'm using bone-in chicken legs because that's what I had, but I would probably recommend using boneless, skinless chicken breast if you have that. To a bowl, I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, some Italian seasoning, and we're going to sprinkle this all over the chicken. And I lost the footage of me making this sauce, but it is some honey, Dijon mustard, and regular mustard, and I will leave it linked down below. Bit of a story with that, check out the description. But basically, I merged two recipes together, so just keep that in mind. But you're gonna wanna pour your sauce all over your chicken and then cover it. So I meal prepped this ahead of time and just threw it in the fridge until I was ready to cook it for supper. But um, if not, then you just throw it in the oven as is. This turned out absolutely incredible. The flavor of the potatoes with that honey mustard sauce was incredible. My in-laws were here and my mother-in-law basically drank the sauce. It was that good. So huge thumbs up from everybody. My kids devoured this excellent, excellent meal. So for this next recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade teriyaki sauce. So to a saucepan, I'm just adding some soy sauce as well as some brown sugar, garlic, ginger, honey, sesame oil, and rice wine vinegar. And then to thicken it, you're just gonna wanna add a couple teaspoons of cornstarch. And again, I'll have the recipe linked down below. Heat this over medium-high heat until it is thickened, but do not let it burn, stir it every so often, and it should resemble a thick, kind of custard-like consistency, and you'll wanna remove that from the heat and let it cool. I had somebody ask me how I do all this meal prep when I have little ones, so this is what I did. My kids are playing with Play-Doh right now, and ignore the state of my dining room table, but Playing with Play-Doh this way, I can keep an eye on the little one, make sure she doesn't eat it, though she's pretty darn good. I'm getting meal prep done. The kids are entertained and I'm still interacting with them and supervising, so I call that a win. So for the filling, I'm just using some chopped up chicken that I'd used for a previous recipe, as well as some carrot and diced red pepper, but you can really add whatever you'd like, water chestnuts, green onion, whatever. And then I just mixed in the teriyaki sauce, and again, I meal prepped this ahead of time, so I just covered this, threw it in the fridge, and then when it was time for supper, pulled it out and reheated it. And I just served this in some romaine lettuce for our lettuce wraps, but you could throw this over rice, you could put it in rice paper wraps, whatever you want. My kids really enjoyed this. And these are definitely more filling than you think. I added some sesame seeds, you could add chia seeds for a bit of a crunch, but these were definitely a hit, and we will definitely be making these again in the future. All right, next up came my husband's favorite meal, which were the meatball subs. So I just grabbed these sub buns in our local bakery, and then, ooh, don't those look familiar? Some meal prep meatballs and marinara sauce that I had in the freezer, so I'm just heating that up. To a bowl, I melted some butter and added in some garlic, as well as some Italian seasoning. And then I just spread this all over the sub buns so that when I toasted them, they didn't dry out, and they soaked up the butter mixture and were fantastic. I just broiled these on high for a couple minutes, keep an eye on them for sure, and then spooned over the meatballs and marinara sauce, added some mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese, and then I also went the extra mile and layered some of that butter mixture right on top of the bun. Served it with some 
fresh veggies and dip and this was fantastic very filling but delicious all right so for the last dish I have some salmon fillets in a 9 by 13 dish I'm just adding some salt and pepper and then to a small bowl I'm gonna mix some maple syrup as well as some garlic and mustard I'm using Dijon mustard today I poured this mixture over the fillets and just so you guys know I did have about six fillets so there's enough sauce to do about six small fillets but I used a pastry brush just to make sure all the edges were coated in the sauce and then I baked it at 425 for about 10 minutes but keep an eye because it depends on the size of your salmon. This is how it turned out. I would recommend throwing it under the broiler for a few minutes just to kind of crisp it up, but I served it alongside some steamed cauliflower and this incredible salad that you're going to want to stay tuned for Friday's video. I will show you how to make this. But the salmon was definitely the star of the show. We all loved it. But that does it for these recipes. I hope you all enjoyed them and I will see you all in the next video.